There is an update on the death of the lucid dream singer Juice World, who died at the age of 21 after suffering a seizure at the Midway Airport, Chicago. It has now been disclosed that the rapper's private plane, which landed at Chicago Midway International Airport around 1 a.m., was searched by police for narcotics authorities. Set for narcotics authorities said that when Juice was playing with landed, it was carrying roughly 70 pounds of marijuana, six bottles of codeine cough syrup, and three firearms. Police were reportedly awaiting the plane and proceeded to search the cabin. Chicago police spokesperson Anthony Guli, Guli, Lim. <laughs> Guli Lim said it was during the search that Juice World suffered a seizure. An additional report by TMZ states that the Juice World took several unknown pills before suffering the seizures. His girlfriend has also confirmed that the singer takes Percocets and had a drug problem. Mm. Well, I think um, the drug problem is um, obvious. Like, we all knew yeah, that. All like, knew in his problem. music, you can always tell that. Mm -hmm. um, Has it's a drug many of those people take, you know. I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I'm just wondering why all of this findings are just coming out now after the young man's demise. Why yeah, is well it that, I mean, No, but that's, that's, out of, that's because of the investigation. Yeah, yeah I agree. I mean, I mean, about 70, 70, of 70 gram, 70 gram of pounds, mm -hmm. pounds, pounds, pounds of marijuana, marijuana was found three fire and six bottles of codeine codeine i mean yes we, we all knew i mean juice world was involved in drugs it, was, it wasn't quiet about it one side i don't think it was right. hidden you know it wasn't then, amazingly the, the report now said that were, the authorities were waiting for for the for the jet on the other yeah. side so mm. which means it was likely going to get arrested mm -hmm. once it touched down wherever it was going to mm. it's pretty sad all of his findings are coming out after the young man is is gone he can't be here to defend himself you know i think for me it's just the lessons, the awareness, the, the, the wokeness, permit that English. Young black Africans, Americans need to learn from these drugs kill. Mm. There is nothing fanciful, there's nothing hip, there's nothing cool about taking drugs, mm. mind altering substances. You know, um, I'm not gonna judge anybody. I mean, hey, I've been there, done that. You know, and then for most of you, like sometimes you, you're in a state of hallucination. Mm. You're trying to get yourself back. Mm. You're like, okay, what's going on? Not everybody has the will, the strength to come back from those mm. kind of situations, all right? I mean, yes, I mean, like being actually say, why would I want to sedate myself and just make me be thinking backwards and be going backwards? Because that's sometimes the feeling those mind altering substances give. Yeah. And so for me, at the end of the day, no matter what it's found from, from, from his cabin, the boy is no longer here. Lessons got to be learned from this. We can't keep having young blacks go this way. Too many of them have gone this way. And aside you know, that, I think I'm also going to focus on the lyrics in the music these days. Now we're we'll taking. Oh, you did let's, say that let's, yesterday. Let's yeah. go back to the 1980s and 1990s. You hear a lot of rappers telling you how drugs are not cool. Do not take drugs. That was but my right, best era of music. Yeah, the 90s. yeah. But right now you hear a lot of musicians telling you how much they've had lean, how much they have on cocaine, and that, and how much. I was going to like, talk about you're that. You're misleading the young stars out there. Like um, Juice World is 21. Permit 24. me to say that. At least I'm 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 like a decade older than him. He's 21. Do you understand? So, like, at me, the end of the day, like I think, I the, think um, the drug culture thing is eating too much into the music industry, and people need to be very aware of it now. I feel all these top celebrities and top artists here, yeah, they need to start. They need to create an awareness and maybe do an hashtag, say no to drugs oh, yeah. and all of that. Oh, yeah. So all the people looking up to you that wants to go into music will know that you're not where you are or you're not giving out um, good music because of drugs. Because a lot of people feel, yeah, the reason why most of these great artists have good music is because of, oh, they're taking drugs and then he puts them on this level that they get very nice lyrics and oh, good wow. music. And I'm it does not work back. like that. I'm I feel celebrities and artists need to come out now and create an awareness before this gets worse because it's already getting worse every now and then one young star is dying and we keep losing people this awareness needs to start now it shouldn't just end at oh her i pit on him and that's it like we have the case of mark miller who also died of um drug, drug. overdose and mm. all of that and this brings me to the era of music in nigeria as well now oh we've lost we've, we've lost a few people to drugs to drugs, to drugs mm. yeah, in, 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 in entertainment, entertainment like industry. last year two years ago I yeah mean, david o's camp and um one of the yeah you know, yeah i mean yeah. let's not forget that it's it's home with us right yeah now, so. so but at the same time i also want a lot of um artists in nigeria to also know that 
as much as I'm a fan, I'm a Malian. Like I would say, <laughs> I'm a Malian, but um, talking about drugs in your music is misleading. Do you understand? Do your stuff. If you want to do drugs and you have control over it, but you do not know how the next man listening to your music would react after taking certain substances that you are glorifying in your music. Right. So I think a lot of artists should take that away from their song. Mm -hmm. Take your personal life, unless it is something motivational, unless it comes with a message. But do not start telling me, okay, look at Charlie Boy, for instance, telling us, oh, he's been smoking marijuana for 55 years. Yeah, he mentioned the health benefits and all of that. But imagine a young boy that looks up to the area father, probably a 15-year-old boy, and then says that, oh, if the area father has been doing it for 55 years, then why not? And then he does it, and then it gets... Um, he, he gets um, disoriented and all of that, and then he has to he go to the rehab, he can't control mm. it. And he also said that the first time he took it, he thought he was going to die, he became a prayer warrior and all mm -hmm. of that. So everybody reacts to drugs differently. So I think this message is just going out to all the artists out there. Stop glorifying drugs in your music. Yeah. Our gate, I'm going to say this. Um, our gate, the gatekeepers, they failed us. Mm. Mm. And unfortunately, we can't trust them any longer. So everybody's got to be the gatekeeper of their own life. Mm. Watch what you listen to, watch what you see, watch what you let inside of you. Because at the end of the day, what you allow inside of you takes over you. And music is one thing mm. that doesn't need your permission to permit into your spirit. Mm. Let the music be playing here right now. Step out in a few more minutes. That music will be playing, playing in your head. Mm. That is the power of music. It permits your spirit without your permission. It doesn't need your permission to get inside of you. So you want to be the gatekeeper of your year. What you listen to, what you allow coming mm. out of you. And know yourself. Finally, know yourself.